Also, Luke, uh, it can start, it doesn't have to start right when we say welcome to the podcast. Like, if we have a little conversation before, you can do a kind of a cold open and then have the music in the... Hello, everyone. Another episode, another time here spent with us. Actually, that's how we're starting this episode, and Matt's still tucking in his shirt. Matt's still tucking in his shirt. Yep. Yeah. Still tucking it in, folks. He still hasn't shown up. Still hasn't shown up for the podcast. It's a weekly podcast, bro. I'm here, bro. I'm literally right here. I was tucking my damn shirt in for n- for no reason. I like tucking my shirt in. People give me shit it? for it online. No, you can't. I like I like tucking my shirt in because I like the I like the the fold that that it it presents. You know, otherwise it's just kind of like hanging everywhere. But if I tuck it, you see you see this nice little like fold right there. Yeah. I like that a lot. See, for me, it's like I I wearing something tucked in. The fold would be for like from my stomach, mm. so it would. Uh, be, it would be a reason why I didn't like tucking shirts in. And I told you, I met that guy at the bar that does liposuction. He does it from home, too. The th- the the only problem is he just, like, texts me, like, at strange hours of the night. Just well, he, he really, he operates mainly at nighttime. It's he's from, uncomfortable. He's from Indonesia, so I think he's still on, like, Indonesia time. Doesn't sound Indonesian. Yeah, I thought that was interesting, too. But, you know... I'm not going to ask for his birth certificate. Yeah, no, I'm not either. But, uh... But they, that would be... Racist, yeah, but I would be interested to know how he was born in Indonesia. Well, he says he's he might have lost his accent. Well, yeah, he's I, I, well, I don't know, it's kind of like a Boston accent, but I don't know. I've never been to Indonesia, I don't know how they talk over there. Yeah, it's totally possible, but no, I've seen more than likely not with a Boston accent. Well, maybe he had like he grew up in a Boston community in Indonesia. Jakarta is very famous for having uh. A large population of Bostonians. Okay. Also, his his work is great. I've seen the pictures. He showed me some pictures on his cell phone at the bar. He made people lose like 60, 70 pounds. Hey, my uh, my self confidence would probably go through the roof after a procedure like that. Absolutely. Sorry, my my brain because we have once again chosen to record uh, while they're doing yard. Yeah, work. dude. I it's hard for me to speak because it's all I can hear is that fucking buzz in the background. And this is me going. There they are doing fucking yard work. Don't they know we're recording a podcast? The super mega cast? Every Wednesday, man, those... I just don't understand it, dude, because our neighbors, like, don't even really have a yard. So what are they doing out there every Wednesday Blown for leaves. six hours straight? Just, it, I think it's just kind of like, it's the... It's, it's, it's the types of sounds you would expect to hear in a... a a nice neighborhood, so they probably are just like just blow the leaves just, around. Just, yeah, just, just like every Wednesday, maybe the sound of a lawnmower to make it seem like we're we're keeping up the place. Yeah, but even if you're blowing the leaves around, dude, it takes like I used to blow my driveway growing up. It takes like max twenty minutes to blow a driveway. I went out there just now. There's like five dudes out there with leaf blowers. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I don't know, dude. I have no idea why, and it's every week. It's not like they don't even ever skip a week and like, oh, we'll let the leaves build up this week. But it, I feel like maybe it's like a rich people thing where they're like, every Wednesday the landscaper has to come, and and that's how we know we're rich. Every goddamn leaf, yeah. is going to be picked out of my driveway. No, well they don't pick even them out of the driveway; they blow them into ours. Well, even if it's by hand, if they miss them with the blower, they got to make sure if one gets caught in the cracks of the driveway or the cracks of the steps. You know what we should do? Wednesday nights, blow them back into their driveway. Because they, okay. they, they, they love blowing them in our driveway. And That's we, what they do. Like, literally, our driveway is right next to theirs, and it's separated by, like, some shrubs. They just and blow them down mm-hmm. the street. <laughs> like, underneath right the shrubs. Our yard. And I'm like, That's great, but wh- why? Maybe we should hire them to come Thursdays to blow it To do up our out. driveway, you know? We, we, could, we could go out right now and ask them to blow it to, to schedule an appointment. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know we already have our people. Our people are kind of... They just kind of barge into the into the back, open up our fridge, and kind of like start drinking a little bit. They actually do... Uh, the barging thing is true. Uh, when I was training for Creator Clash back there, uh, I'd be I'd be there at like 9 a.m. And uh, I, I, I didn't know what day they usually come because our landlord handles that. And usually we're not here yet because they come in the morning. And, you know, we're bad boys. We sleep a little late sometimes. But you know. I'd be back there boxing. And then like... Uh, the gate would just open up, and this dude with a leaf blower would just like walk in, just like not even acknowledge, and just 
<laughs> like blowing up dust and leaves it's all an added around obstacle. me. It's something for your brain to focus on. No, yeah. and my old trainer would get so mad. He's like, hey, what's your fucking problem with these guys, man? Can you just tell them the fuck off? And I was like, it's, you know, it's well, fine. that trainer ditched you randomly, so. He did, three weeks before the fight. Yeah. I mean, he 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 knew I was going to win, and he did, he wasn't ready for the, the spotlight that would bring with it, so. I did talk to Alex today. Ernst. Oh. Yeah, what'd he say? Not your ex-wife. Yeah, no, I'm done. Just, we haven't talked in forever, I promise. Okay. You sure? Yes. Because we also haven't talked in forever, so I wouldn't even know. Uh. Um, okay, Alex Ernst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex Ernst called. And uh, I gave him a piece of my fucking mind, is what I did. Yeah? Yeah. Finally, man, what'd you say? I said, fuck you, and then hung up. Yeah, that's 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 worthy of a fist bump right there. Yeah. We knucked it for that one. Did he cry? <sighs> I didn't stay long enough to find out. <laughs> what a little pussy, man. <laughs> now Alex is Alex is actually like the sweetest dude. I know. He 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 called he's like, "Hey, I'm just calling, man. Seeing how you're doing." I'm like, "You know, getting back from physical therapy, doing well." He's it's like, "Definitely oh. cuz he saw the last podcast." He was like, "I did hit your back that it, that time in the fight." I'm, so, I'm like, "No, no, this is all this is all for my training and me. This is all like my doing." Well, it's your trainer. But, but I, I did tell him the nose is his fault. Yeah, but it's fixed now. Yeah, I, I told him I was mad at him up until it was fixed. You sound back to normal now. He's He, he recommended uh, using a, a, a neti pot. Is that what they're called? Yeah, that will clear out all the shit that's up he there. He says he's, he just got one, and he's he's really enjoying it. Yeah, so it's basically, have you ever used one? Mm -mm. It's like a thing with water, like hot water, and you... Blast it up your nose and basically oh, it just blasts water throughout your nasal cavity and it comes out of your mouth and your other nostril And I've been using saline spray. No, that stuff's great dries everything up, but the neti pot literally it's like Did you ever when I was a kid? I, I put the hose right here and I turned it on and it shot up my nose and I never did that. No, it hurt really bad uh, But it's kind of like that and it's coming out of your mouth and it's just it's that that happens with the saline spray I put it I put it just go and all of a sudden it starts dripping to the back like out of the back of my throat mm -hmm. starts coming out I used to, uh, when I was in like seventh grade, I discovered one day that I could drink through my nose. And I was like, you can do this? Because I, I just did it lightly with like a spoonful of water. And I just like, if you just relax, you can just let it go down. I'm like, oh, I can drink through my nose. So You're I not uh, meant to. No, not meant to at all. But you can do it. Yes. So uh, if you ever like burn your mouth on pizza or something and, you know, you want to drink some water, you can. I could probably drink some water through my nose right now. Let's, let's both try. Should I maybe do you want to get spoons to do it? Yeah, Because the yeah, cup yeah. is just kind of. I'll be right back. Go, 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 go fetch a spoon. I'll uh, I'll talk. I'll talk about how excited I am. Oh, I'll be quick. Because I've been able to start playing Sea of Thieves. I can't sit down at my computer, um, but I ha I can lay in bed with a little this little like desk bed thing, and play. You know, with my leg support. And I'm thinking if I I should get a standing desk or something for at home to so it, maybe that would help with uh, playing more Sea of Thieves on my desktop. Oh, would you get that standing desk? Not yet. I'm thinking about it though. <sighs> oh, I thought you bought it. Mm -mm. Just thinking about it still. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'd have to get rid of your old desk, which is a big ass desk. That's and a pain in the so ass. So much wire clutter. Yeah. From, like, even back when I did VR shit. Yeah, that desk is clunky. It's the best way to describe it. Okay. See this? See this, guys? I got, we got clear spoons, so you can see the water. You, you have a little more water. Okay, that's like about the how much you have, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you just kind of. Mmm. Mmm. Oh God, that was refreshing. Yeah, that felt really good. <laughs> well, I, I. I drank water through my nose. That actually... I gotta get the other nostril. That tickles a lot more than I remember. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> I, I spilled a little. Oop. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ, man. That's a lot more uncomfortable than I remembered. Maybe I was just really good at it when I was younger, but I could just fucking... Like, ugh. I just don't think I've had anything go up my nose in a while, so... Ooh. See these? Yeah, I see those, bro. The Are those Egyptian? Yeah, uh, like, I think they're the Gemini ones. Oh, Jim, that's your birth month, bro. It is. You're a Gemini. I am. Ah, oh, God. And it's you're a Jim's of... little guy, your stepdad. Yes, or or Jim's big guy, Jim who works here. Yeah. I mean, Jim's kind of an asshole. Yeah, but, you know, I just kind of... He does his job. I've been frustrated with him lately. For being um, an asshole? 
well, I'm always frustrated with that. But lately, you know, he's been staying with me recently. Yeah, I know when you live with someone, tensions can rise. Yeah, well, I mean, he tends to keep to himself, but I don't know why, but he, uh, when he uses the bathroom, when he wipes, I don't know if it's how he was raised. He doesn't um, flush the toilet paper. He just puts it into like a plastic bag. But then he takes it upstairs to my kitchen and Before he just kind of yes and and but but it's just it's just like the used toilet paper and he just sets it by the trash can doesn't even put it in so uh, you know I'll have like three bags of 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 ass wipe toilet paper just sitting by my why trash does that can. actually feel like that's something Tucker did at one point or would do? that actually completely sounds like something Tucker would I do. I would believe like if I heard Tucker did that at some point Tucker's like no I don't I just don't you know it, I, it's bad for the plumbing in the environment if you put the I can see Tucker reusing toilet just paper. recycle it. Like poop, like used fucking. Dude, I could see Tucker wiping with like a like a cloth, and then washing the cloth, and then hanging it by the toilet, and then doing that again every time he shits. Does that not sound exactly like something Tucker would do? That does sound like something Tucker would do to save like twenty cents a year, and to help the environment out. I mean, he was the largest source of of uh, I guess recycling at the apartment complex. Well, he was the largest source, but we didn't even know we had recycling, so it didn't even... Well, it, we recycled at the Game Grumps office. But I remember yeah. Tucker, very environmentally conscious, and when he lived on our couch, he had a recycling pile that was next to the couch, directly in front of Ryan's bedroom door, <laughs> and he let that thing grow for weeks before he would take it to the... And we'd have to help him take it. We'd load up your car to the brick, like, filled with just bottles. And, and you'd open up your off. door, and it would just be like a pile of of bottles and things and you just have to like step over it and it got too big to step over at one point and it's just everywhere man that's but Tucker those pa- that's in the past now you know now we don't have to deal with Tucker's fucking clutter no his roommates do and I, and I think it's interesting now that he drives a Hummer H3 also he the things cause Tucker likes painting for those who don't know and just the the stuff that he would paint while Mostly revolved around artistic portrayals of known symbols, uh, slanted more in 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 the use of those symbols that I think were picked up by other groups that uh, he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't thinking about at the time. No, well, well, I'm not trying to cancel him. No, I'm not trying to cancel. I mean, I love him. I, I, I we tried to educate him. I yeah. said, you know, Tucker. I know that that symbol traditionally was used. Um, you know, in a lot of ancient cultures, um, as a symbol of peace, but it wasn't. you can find it in Glendale, even on the light mm-hmm. posts, but Tucker, maybe that's they remove those. No, they didn't. Okay. Uh, but, but Tucker, you know, maybe when you paint this symbol, you got to think about maybe how people in the 21st century might react to it, especially, especially with the when, color scheme, the color scheme. And, you know, it's like, I'm not going to tell the guy, you know, he obviously knows color very well. He colors our videos. Like, so, uh, you know. I'm not going to be like, oh, maybe you should switch the red to the green. Red but. is a very catching color. I know. And also, just the other thing, like you said, is is the the slant. Yes. Like, were you talking about slant, like the symbol being used slanted or the actual rotation of the symbol? I was more t- talking about, like, the, the, the rotation. Right, because he paints, he would paint them at a rotated, like, 45 degree thing. And yeah. He, he, said, well, he said, oh, I'm just trying to do something new with it. Like it's mid-spin. Yeah. And, uh... I don't know what he meant by that, but I just kind of said, okay. Yeah. Well, honestly, it's like if he had just done one or two paintings of that at our place, I mean, it still made me uncomfortable, but I think it was the fact that he was doing them every day. He would dry them up at the window, open up the window, just kind of stick them out there. It's oil paint, so he'd put it right up in the window, yeah. But well, that's Tucker. Yep, yeah, that, that's Tucker. We um, love him. We love Tucker. He's, he's a great dude. He's a, he's, he's a wonderful friend, a great uh, cameraman. He's in Death Valley right now. Really? What's he yeah. doing in Death Valley? He's um, on a motorcycle adventure with his brother or something? No. Uh, his brother uh, unfortunately died. He is uh, shooting, like doing like pictures in a documentary of some guy that is running. That sucks. Sorry. Yeah. I, I feel like we should take a moment of. I mean, he, did he ever no, appear in a super mega video? No, it's our podcast. Do we ever even mention his brother in like anything? No, it's our podcast, dude. It's fine. It's fine. Just People pay a lot of money for every second of airtime. Yeah. You know, so Tucker, I mean, he's if Tucker died, of, we would say something. We we would we something we'd allot it during an ad break. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, today's episode is also sponsored by uh, Corey Feldman's funeral homes. <laughs> Corey Feldman's Tucker Prescott Memorial Fund. <laughs> 
<laughs> Corey Fel Corey Feldman raising money for Tucker Prescott for his funeral. <laughs> his funerals are expensive as shit, dude. If you guys just give me the money to do this, I swear it'll be the best funeral you've ever been to. Pumps them full of like formaldehyde, <laughs> like all like the, all the stuff that like the issues people have with funerals, how they're so bad for the environment, like. When you, they pump you full of formaldehyde, I mean, it ends, ends up back in the just earth. Burn and shit. me to a crisp, baby. Man, yeah, just fucking put me on a cross and burn me. Turn me into ash. What? I want to be cremated for sure. I yes. don't want to be buried. I don't Why know about the cross thing? Being cremated is being er, crucified is very brutal. Don't you dehydrate? Isn't that like how you die? You, you asphyxiate. Or asphyxiate. Because the asphyxiate angle. Or dehydrate. Or. Well, you also dehydrate. I mean, you're up there for days. But uh, I, I, I would like to be burned on the cross. I, I don't want to be. Killed on the cross, like I'd like to die, be placed on the cross, and then burnt. You're not a witch. They didn't burn them on the cross, I don't think. They, nah, they just lit them on fire. That wasn't that long ago. No, that was like 400 years ago. Well, I mean, we're still doing fucked up shit to to humans. Still do fucked up shit, and look at where we are. Nope. Uh, have you ever been on r slash humans are fucking awesome? I've seen uh No, but I have yeah, seen the subreddit awesome. where where. What is it? Nature is fucking metal. Yes, how'd you yes, know? Yes, I, I know you, dude. How'd you know? I know you, man. When I see that look in your eyes, when you get that Reddit look on your face, I know exactly what, what you're thinking. But also being buried, like... You're such a good friend. I know, dude. Thanks. You're coming to Corn Man tonight. I am coming to Corn Man tonight. Okay. But, well, I just wanted to say being buried just feels weird, like in a suit, and they pump you full of chemicals, and you're never seen again. Why? What? It's weird. It's expensive. It's, why do we do that? Just fucking burn me up, dude. Put me in a little Ziploc baggie. What about live streaming your own cremation? Ooh, that's and people can put in sound effects. Oh my god, they can they donations. can donate like and they could change like the oh it can help fund us uh, like a funeral service. You know how like they a gathering? What are the fucking? Isn't there something just a before funeral? a funeral? Just the wake. Yes, where they show the body, right? You know. A live st oh yeah yeah oh yeah well they can do commands to open the casket close it open it <laughs> yeah change like lights play different songs and clips um you, you also remember in chemistry class in high school when they'd like turn on the bunsen burner and they'd spray the different chemicals and it would change the color of the fire mm -hmm. it'd be cool to set something up like that so like in the blast furnace when they're cremating me people can like donate to change the colors of the flames it's like chat tries to get it all to be pink at uh -huh. one point, but like you see like blue. Yeah, one person goofs it up and it's like, oh, okay, we gotta try again. Damn it. How long do they cremate someone for? I don't know. Is I it could, like minutes could, or is it like hours? I could look it up. They torch your shit. Yeah, I mean, you're cooked at a very high... Dust and bone. Cremation sounds very scary if uh, you die and then... Are you ever scared you're gonna die and then realize you're dead and then be like, oh shit. I, I'm still alive somehow, and two I'm paralyzed. Two to three hours. Oh, just okay. straight fucking cooking. So two to three episodes of the Super Mega Cast, and your parents are toast, you know? Well, the entire cremation time frame, including any waiting period, authorization the actual cremation, can take anywhere from four days to two weeks from start to finish. The cremation itself takes about three to four hours with another one to two hours of process. Do they remove all your organs and shit first? If you're an organ donor. Are you? Yeah. Nice, me too. I, I don't remember what blood type I am, though. I am a. I only know this because uh, my mom told me when I was younger. No one knows their blood types. I'm a, I'm B negative, but I don't be negative. I be positive. Do you think my mom knows my blood type by heart? I dude, your mom would definitely know your blood type. Want, of all the moms see? to know children's blood types. Want to see? Want me to call mommy? Call mommy, dude. <laughs> or uh, maybe they can listen to Cecile's voice after these sponsors. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you guys. Are people still trying to make plans with you this summer? Nope. As if you aren't booked and busy already? I've been trying to make plans with you, Ryan. You're going to have to tell them to try again in the fall. You've got pool days, pride parades, bachelor parties, and beach vacations waiting for you, my brother. It's a lot. But thankfully, MeUndies wants to help make this summer the most comfortable one you'll never forget. Because when you're living your best life, the last thing you want to worry about is ass sweat. Listen, uh, as a guy who has a chronically sweaty ass, MeUndies... Uh, Makes makes things a lot easier for me. I I'm not I'm not I'm not drenched down there no more because it's so breathable. It's light. It's so comfortable. Holds the family jewels just right. And when you're comfy and feeling good, you're more present to enjoy all your summer plans. It's like science or something. Miami's has the lightest and most breathable fabrics to keep you cool and comfortable wherever you go. 
From undies, bralettes, and socks to loungewear and swimwear, you can find something for all your plans. MeUndies also releases new prints all the time, like their limited edition Pride collection. You can match with your partner, friends, or even your dog. Find your ultimate summer comfort in sizes extra small to 4XL. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off. And for a limited time, if you sign up for the free to join MeUndies membership, you get 25% off your first membership item. So, to get 15% off your first order, 25% off your membership item, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. Okay. Well, back from the ad breaks. Welcome and, back, uh, everyone. I think you wanted to give your mom a call? Oh, that's right. To see if uh, she knows my blood type by heart. Uh, red. <laughs> I got, I'll, I'll shoot my mom a text. I, I think I'm B negative. B minus? B, B negative? What, what does it mean? What, what the fucking... Mom. Hey. Hey, Mom. We're recording the podcast, and um, okay. I, I wanted to add, I wanted to see if you knew something by heart because I don't even know this answer. Okay. About myself. Um, let me see. Okay. Well, do you know what my blood type is? Oh my god. Mm. Well, I'm O, so if I had to guess, I'm going to say you're also O, but I'm not positive. So she's O negative? So you're O negative? <laughs> that was a good one. That was Matt. Uh, I was repeating what Matt was asking oh, okay. you. I'm, I'm O positive. Okay. That sounds I'm fun. Not, yeah, Isn't O the really good sure, one? Honey. Is O the really sure. good blood type? O's the blood type that can, like, take any other blood Correct. type, right? Yeah. Correct. So, O's, O's like the universal blood type. It's like the the one that you can give and and um, receive you can as well give to A's or B's. All right. Well, I I hope that's the case. But you have failed this questionnaire and for this know. this this pop I'm quiz. Sorry. No, it's okay, Mom. I, I I love you. I still love you. I hope you do. I do. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your your day. Thank you. Yeah. I hope you do too. Thank you. We're gonna get back but, to record, having fun, right, so having some, like, having some good chit chat with laughs. my buddy Matt. A couple goofs. Tell Matt hello. 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 He says hello, hello. If you didn't hear him. All right, sweet boy. I love you. Love you too, Matt. Okay, baby. Bye. Bye. Sweet boy. <laughs> love you too, sweet boy. Was that, was that me? Was she saying sweet boy to me or you? I'll leave. I'll leave that up for the comments to decide. Well, listen, Ryan, I guess you're not so special because O represents 39% of people's blood types. And guess what B minus, B negative is? 2%. So I'm a little special. And I can't. Are you though? Well, it, it just means that if I am in a situation where I'm critically losing blood, there's a much lower chance I'm going to be able to receive blood that can actually help me. Yeah. I thought blood was just blood, bro. But apparently it's got these little fucking knobs and receptors on it that's like, what? Ooh. Ugh. Yeah, so like B is for antibodies and A is antigens. I don't know, dude. I wish people just had different colored blood. Like like the difference between A and B is like some people had blue blood, green blood. Horseshoe crabs have blue blood. But I don't like horseshoe crabs. They apparently taste pretty foul too. Though those are one of those creatures that look like they haven't evolved in like two hundred million years. They're actually years. pretty cute. Bit aside. Horseshoe crabs? Yeah. They have little faces underneath like like stingrays. Really? Mm hmm I don't know, man. Horseshoe Not crab like little faces, but like their 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 mouth and everything is like No 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 wait. Their eyes are on the shell, sorry. But like their mouth is underneath. Dude. So they have their they have their little like they're just looking, they're just looking around, chilling. Oh, okay. I see what you mean about the eyes. But the rest of oh dude, oh my god. What? I just it's anatomy, like underneath the shell is horrifying. They're not gonna hurt you. Oh, they're really scary, dude. I'm not a big They're fan cute of these. From a top, they're like a. Uh, they just look like something out of like the, like Jurassic period. They having they have them in the petting pools. You want to touch its shell? Yeah. The point is, what's the point of petting? It's just like, oh wow, same as petting a dead one. You know, you're just touching the shell. But why would why would you have a dead one just lying around? It's I used decompose. to see them all the time on the beach. And jellyfish. Jellyfish was the big one that I saw all the time. Yeah, those things. I saw a dead baby seal one time on the fucking uh, what coast uh, down Santa Monica. 
What? Back in like 2015. Just a dead baby seal? Yeah. Whoa. Just a... Just a dead baby seal? <laughs> yep. Welcome to episode 303, dead baby seal. Um, no, dude, uh, that's, that's fucked. I, the water around Santa Monica is, is not good. And there's warning signs that are Speak like... Speak for yourself. That shit's delicious. Well, I mean, it does taste good, and I've, I've tried Have it. Have you tried it unfiltered? Yes. Because that's the real stuff. We used to drink it all the time when we lived together. Yep. But it's bad for you, apparently. That's what the signs say. They're like, oh, don't uh, expose your skin to this water. There's sewage and radiation. and Give you cancer. Yeah, okay, well, guess what? But uh, no, as we said multiple times, living in California, everything gives you cancer. Yeah, everything gives you fucking cancer and makes you trans. So I, I, I'm going to drink my fucking ocean water, and they can't stop me. Nope. I had a horrible nightmare the other night where I was lost at sea because I've been watching all of these like video essays that are just about like maritime disasters. Were you on like a little dinghy? Yeah, I was on a little. Or were you just treading water? It was one of those lifeboats, like you know, like the. Was it orange? Yeah. Nice. One of those. Uh, and I was I was in the middle of the Indian Ocean, and I had. No, how, did, how do you know it was the Indian Ocean? Just in the dream. Just in my dream, I just knew it was the Indian Ocean. Okay. And uh. I was like, fuck, this sucks. And I didn't have any resources. Like, I didn't have any flares. Uh, and I had to get water. And the way I did it was I had, like, a jug. But you can't drink the ocean water. So I, I cut a square, and I put ocean water in it. And then I used a plastic bag to put over it. And then I put a little screw on top of it so it made, like, a divot. And I put a cup under it so the water would evaporate without the salt and then drip down into the cup. Ooh. And I learned that from a movie where a man is lost in the Indian Ocean. So I was basically just Which reliving movie? the movie. All is Lost. All is Lost. Didn't Robert you show Redford. me that movie? Yeah. It was your favorite movie for a time. It was. I really like that movie a lot. It's just like intense and anxiety inducing. And it's just Robert Redford lost in the Indian Ocean. No, nope, like barely any dialogue. He's just having to solve his problems. He yells fuck at one point. I, I remember the big <sighs> storm movie when I was growing up. That I was like, <gasps> was uh, the perfect storm? Yeah, I never saw that one. A shark washes up onto the boat, and it's scary. <sighs> well, that the perfect storm was a it was a real storm that happened, and apparently Mark Wahlberg was in it. I've been told it's perfect, not the actual storm. Didn't it have like George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg. Well, if Mark Wahlberg had been in the actual storm, things would have gone down a little differently. <laughs> Dude, I got an ad yesterday on Twitter for a for a Catholic prayer app that Mark Wahlberg was promoting. And it was like, you can join Mark Wahlberg in prayer. Called Hollow? Hallow? First, sorry, first two actors, George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg, A Perfect Storm. And it has John C. Riley in it. He, he must be good friends with Mark Wahlberg because he's in several Mark Wahlberg pictures. What were you saying before that, though? Oh, I got an ad yesterday for an app. His prayer app. Yeah. He came, he, there was a movie he was in recently where he was playing like a ex-con preacher. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't see the movie, but I saw like the... Mark Wahlberg is a piece of shit. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> He's in Boogie Nights, dude. It's a great movie. Was a piece of shit. He's a changed man. He lives by the grace of God now. Yeah, he might have beat those two Vietnamese men half that's to what, death, but that, he was on PCP. Ex, that ex-con movie that he's in, it's showing that he you can go from living a life of just pure debauchery and then transcend all of that and become a better person. Yeah. I mean, you can. You can. It is possible. No, I'm absolutely. Not not it possible. is. You, you could absolutely do shitty things in your past and then grow from them. He, Mark Wahlberg's just one of those guys that's like, I don't know. Maybe it's his ego. It just makes it a little hard to fully believe that he's not crazy. That's an actor thing. I I I don't think I've ever like. Well, because everyone treats you like a god. Felt the vibe from an actor. Where it was like, oh, they're so down to earth. You know. <laughs> you had that one great tweet that was like, "All these millionaires are so down to earth." I hope no one thinks I was like directly talking. It's just like. I not I, a single millionaire friend of yours liked it. I know. Funny. Not a single one. Not a single one of my millionaire friends liked that goddamn tweet, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. And that shows that they are not down to earth. No, exactly. It shows that they have money changes uh, you. They have uh weak hearts, weak minds and weak chins. Um <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that the worst one is the weak chin. <laughs> but I, I I came up with that tweet uh a while back uh, and it's been sitting in my drafts. I, I don't did I I told the story on the podcast how I went to this like what was to me advertised as a 
barbecue where there's a celebrity sh- a celebrity chef making some delicious meals and it turned out to be like an NFT event. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And they had like a bowl of like caviar and like just they scoop, had IV yeah. stations like hooked up. Well, for rich people drinking water is a bit of a it's a task. It's you know, it, it takes a lot. So <laughs> well, it's cuz they're doing so many drugs that they're like, recharging themselves. Bro, if you if you're at a point where like just drinking water is like you're not getting hydrated because you're doing that many drugs and you have to plug yourself into a, like a a needle. Maybe don't do that mu- that many drugs. There was an Easter egg hunt where uh, you had to, what was it? Oh, yeah, you could they, win they, like a you NFT. You could win like that was, watches. You could win money, like I think. $10,000 NFT. Some, some NFT. I mean, people that were there had the opportunity to, there's this big old like square, not portrait, canvas and just anyone from the party they had paint and whatever they could add to it and it was good were they gonna turn it into an nft genius genius i didn't do it why because i don't want to there could have been an official ryan mcgee nft (laughs) there could have been oh well it was very interesting experience yeah i'm into nfts nice fucking testicles (laughs) it was the the chef was nice and made delicious food but mm, the most of the people there just it was it was like walking into what a what a think if Fox News made a movie about California and yes this was in California but like this is like where they would pl- set it like this is the setting <laughs> <laughs> NFTs are ridiculous it's a it's a it's kind of like no I'm I'm co- awesome ridiculously awesome yeah uh, Luke, the one who's editing I the, this. I got the gym. I got the. No, I know. I've only ever considered buying one NFT, and that was really? uh, when Rachel Dolezal <laughs> dropped an NFT collection. And if you bought all the NFTs, you'd get an, you'd an actual painting from Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> and Luke and I are big Rachel heads. We're big. We're big Dolezal heads. So he got me a signed picture of her that's on my fridge. Oh, that's beautiful. Um. Yeah, I just opened my mailbox one day and just said a letter from Rachel Dolezal. I was like, what the fuck? And I opened it up. She said hello to our patrons before. Yeah, well, she was she was helping mediate an argument between Danny Sexbang <laughs> and Kenny G. Um, but basically, yeah, I, I that's the only time I ever considered, like, what if I actually bought a Rachel Dolezal NFT? Because, surprise, surprise, the floor price is very low. But uh, I didn't. I still don't quite... Like, I understand what it is, but I don't get the point of, like, why. It's just, like, basically, it's ba- it's just putting something in the blockchain that says, this is yours. So. Yeah. Does it, it have any, I mean, of course, it looks like it has legal precedent. It has legal and, and monetary. Show because his board ape got stolen. It, it, it's, the whole point of it is, uh, basically, it's like, oh, I have this collectible digital art piece. And this says that it's mine, and then I can sell it for money. So it's you know it's it's just a it's a market thing. It's but you can just like I could just paint something and then sell it. Yeah. Like why does it need to be a part of a? Well, the the biggest problem with it is just the ridiculous amount of energy it wastes. Well, the, it just the entire blockchain in general it uses crazy minting minting an NFT. Yeah, minting an NFT is. Before I knew about NFTs, I heard about the concept, and I was like, oh, and I tweeted, and I was like, I want to make some NFTs. This sounds cool. Is it the same? And then I was like, oh, no, I don't. That, like, um, oh, what is it? Cryptocurrency? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. exactly the same problem okay. as cryptocurrency, just because it's nice. all running the same. It's just like a stupid amount of energy being used for... Do you think it's fat, or do you think it's here to stay? Oh, it's here to stay, I think. NFTs? Yeah. It might, I, I think that crypto and NFTs are both, like... Crypto, definitely. I, I mean, don't think they're fat. been around for forever. Yeah, I, I think it, it obviously, it well, right now people are saying it's dead, but it's also like crypto? the entire global market is crashing, and it follows that as much as people are like, oh, it's not regular, it's not, um... Making yourself feel better or something? No. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's going to be around for a while. That's awesome. Yeah. I like how Twitter, uh, you can change your profile picture shape if you have To an, an NFT. NFT. I actually, uh, the second Pride Month was over. Uh, 12, 12 a.m. on July 1st, I went to our Twitter to go change the, uh, our avatar, and I noticed, I was like, oh, I could choose an NFT, but I don't have any NFTs. Yeah. Well, I think it would be cool if they gave verified people their own shape. That we, would be awesome. We could be hexagons. 
that's what the uh, NFTs Octagons. are. Octagons. Octagons, yeah. There's more <laughs> sides to it. We could be trapezoids. We could be septagons. Ooh, seven? Mm-hmm. Sign? I think so. I don't know if septagon's real. I just took a, took a, is, is that a real thing? Septagon? Pentagon, hexagon, septagon. You know what's funny though? September? That's the ninth month. October that's, 8th? That's the 10th month. Deck? December? That means 10, yeah, but it's 12. It, but, you ever thought about that? Do you think about this stuff? I think about this all the time. What do you think about time. that? I think that it's kind of weird that the I, I th- the numbers are shifted like that. You know? Septagon? Should we bring this up to the Supreme Court? I think the Supreme Court should change it so <laughs> October is uh, the 8th month because it's oct. I think that the Supreme Court would... The honestly, the, But they're in such good spots. October would be really hot if they if they moved it. It's still pretty hot in South Carolina in October. Yeah. I mean, I LA is fucking fair. burning hot in October. Like the, the South Carolina uh, State Fair. Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Was Michael there? <laughs> yeah. Man, I miss, the, I miss the, the State Fair. There would always be like some Christian rock band that is playing. Mm. And like pig races. Oh, pig races. They have little uh, ducklings that go down a little slide and then run back up and go down the slide again. Oh, that was my favorite part was the ducklings. And you could buy them. Yep. And I always wanted one. My dad's like, what the fuck are you going to do with a duckling? But basically... Ducks uh, are pretty awesome pets, apparently. They're great pets. But yeah, they'd run up the slide to get the food and then... It was actually kind of cruel if you think about it because what they would do is they would put the food like a little bit too far away. So <laughs> yep. they would try to get it and then slide down the slide, come back up, slide uh, down the slide. But it was You it get was people cute. doing this, this number, <laughs> clapping it, their hands together, enjoying a good old time with their... With their Stepson at the at the South Carolina State Fair, which there is usually always a shooting at, always or a stabbing every yep. single year. <laughs> yeah, when it so in Charleston and in Columbia, because they would come to both, there would be a shooting or a stabbing without fail every single year at the fair. Yes, usually I, I think it was mainly because like gang members run into each other. Yeah, and they're like, "Hey, whoosh. what are you d-? like?" <laughs> imagine like spotting someone like on like in a different gang, you know, because <laughs> we're in a gang. Well, but I can't a, say which one. No. But imagine spotting someone like on the fucking like ship ride, just like wait, wait a second. <laughs> do, 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 damn it. Or on the UFO one. The crazy mouse one. <laughs> Fuck, the, damn the, it. The UFO one, he's trying to like point the gun. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. like, ah. Shoots it in the bullet curves. <laughs> you know, I uh speaking of small yellow things. I just went and saw The Minions, The Rise of Gru. And you liked it. I loved it. I still haven't been to a theater yet. I, I think I, I, I'm building. I, oh, you, you know, have? Are you, are you, you still haven't since COVID? N- n- not since. I did after COVID a little bit. After COVID. When theaters opened back up. But this I haven't gone to the movie since like probably like late April. Oh, yeah, man. You got to. I'm not going to lie. So I went into this. Donning my suit, and I went into this movie thinking that, oh, this is going to suck. I'm going to be miserable. I sat down. Have and, you seen the first Minions movie? Uh, no, I've seen Despicable Me. But I sat down, and I pretty pretty quick off the bat, like, I Enjoyed actually. Enjoyed it? Well, so I'm sitting next to Ben Beal, and Ben loves every movie. Like, it's very easy to please him. And I'm sitting there, and he's just like. It's <laughs> <laughs> like laughing. I'm just like. Okay, so he really likes it. But then I found myself laughing. And mm. there were actually, like, there's some funny parts in that movie. There's and some the adult humor. There is. They show a lot of minion ass. Some, what, what is that word that I learned from the movie posters? Innuendo. There are innuendos, and they show a lot of minion ass. Good. Like, s- four or five times they is show Is he walking ass. away with a towel and his butt's going... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, I think that was in the first minion movie. Well, you see Gru, young Gru. Um, see his bare ass? You do, yeah. He's like nice. 11. I don't know. It's interesting. But... Uh, they they have a full frontal uh, of a minion of no, of Gru. Damn, they show like, his like penis. the Bart Simpson. Yeah, they show his penis um, erect too in a PG thirteen movie. No, this was in the Simpsons. I know. I know. Oh. Minions is PG. I'm guessing. I want to say Minions is almost G, so more kids can go see it. I think it's PG. What do you think? It is? I don't know, man. Do you I, think it's G? I think it's G. Okay. It was a good movie though. It had a fun soundtrack and uh. I saw Fantano didn't like the soundtrack. He can go fuck himself. Minions are PG. 
I like the first one because it felt like a, I know they had talking characters too, but with the minions, it always feels like a Tom and Jerry episode. Well, you you went and saw it in theaters by myself. Yes. The first one. Dude, it's always only like these specific movies where it's like the live action Cinderella I saw by myself <laughs> <laughs> that Disney did back in like 2016. No, because I know you love going to see movies by yourself and there's nothing weird about that. It's just <laughs> the ones that you go see by yourself are always like <laughs> they're the ones that I'm not going to go at the with time. Yeah, I'm I not going to. I know you and I went to go see the emoji movie, but that was like more of a meme. But like these are movies that are actually like this is just going to not be fun to watch. I just like going to the movies at the time. I had Movie Pass. That's right, you did. So I was using that shit up Rest all in peace to movie the pass. time. That's just, there was no way that was ever going to be able to stick around and be like <laughs> economic. <laughs> like it just made no sense. Then but you like, got to enjoy it during during that that little period. And then the movie companies were like, "We can make our own Movie Pass," and they did. I saw a clip from 2016 or 2017 recently um, from Super Mega, where it was it was you. Talking about you were like, I already know what's gonna happen. Paramount, Disney, uh, like they're all gonna have their own streaming services that you have to pay for individually. And I was now like, there's Paramount Plus. Yeah, no, literally, it was it was like you called it out exactly how it was gonna be. I mean, it's pretty. It was. I think a lot of people also called it out. It was pretty easy to predict because, like, I mean, you're a big company. You want to make some money. I thought that why not gatekeep shit? Gatekeep. Gatekeep. Oh. That, gatekeep is what our company does. Yeah, it does. So well, far. Until we fire late. Maybe not for long. We're the gatekeepers. Oh, hey, Jim. Yeah. Oh, he waved. Yeah, Wait, he whoa, whoa, back. Jim. Jim. <sighs> wow. Oh, okay. What's up? It took you, did you have to do a deep breath before walking to open the door? What do you mean? I just was walking away. No, that, you felt that? Like, there was enough time for like a... Yeah, it, it was definitely... <sighs> Yep, hey, no, build yourself no, I'm up. Not upset to be, I'm happy to be here. No, now you are. Jim. Yeah. Come here. Will you show everyone your shirt? It says, uh, it says Minority Report. Yeah, is that what you do on the weekend for funds? Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Hey, you really got them there. You got a lot of holes in your shirt. I know. It's because I run a lot. Yeah, and your muscles swell up. And yeah, just... they, they rip through the shirt. I yeah, it looks good. Stamps. Oh, you got stamps? Yeah. Those are some nice stamps. They have the American flag on them, right? How much are stamps now? Guess how much? When I was a kid, I remember stamps were like twenty something cents, maybe, right? They're twenty. I don't know, because I use stamps.com. This I was I, I don't go buy them at the post office. I use stamps.com. Yeah, I use stamps.com too. Good. Yeah. As you good. should. Yeah. But this these this was twenty dollars. Yeah, both of those were twenty dollars. Not if you use stamps.com. Stamps yeah. yeah. You could save up to 86% Which off. I don't on. even know if they're... They might not be sponsored. They're a great service. <laughs> but okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just give them that. They are a great service. We'll be yeah. seeing you soon because... Wait, wait, wait a second. Yeah, what's up? Do we, do we need to take another Ryan back break? Yeah, we might is have to take another Ryan back has, break. Is it enough time to take I'm another... Sure Absolutely. Sure All right, back. okay. Time hey. to go rest my back. Go rest that back and uh, we'll be right back after these... Fuck. When you use the bathroom, you always close the door behind you, right? You don't want some random passerby looking in on you. So why would you let people look in on you when you go online? Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like going to the bathroom and not closing the door. Did you know that your internet service provider knows every single website you visit? And what's worse is they can sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who will use your data to target you. ExpressVPN puts a stop to this. It creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so that your online activity can't be seen by anyone. I use ExpressVPN on all my devices. It works on everything, phones, laptops, even routers. So everyone who shares your Wi-Fi can still be protected even if they don't have ExpressVPN. Matt and I both use ExpressVPN because both the government and tech giants are just always after us, after our information. And honestly, we don't want them to look up what our employees are looking on the internet. We, we have no affiliation with what they do on the internet. And so we don't want anyone to kind of like find that out. But uh, the best part of ExpressVPN is that it's, it's as easy as closing the bathroom door. You just fire up the app, click one button, and you're protected. ExpressVPN is the world's number one rated VPN by Mashable, The Verge, and countless others. So, if you're like me and believe your online activity is your business, secure yourself by visiting expressvpn.com supermega today. Use our exclusive link. 
EXPRESSVPN.com slash supermega, and you can get an extra three months for free. We gotta say it one more time, folks, but uh, this time Matt's gonna say it. What am I saying? ExpressVPN.com slash supermega. ExpressVPN.com slash supermega. Two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35. I mean, look at Ryan. It's fallen out left and right. Or at least it was, before he started using Keeps. More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. Yikes! But Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. There are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss, and Keeps has got them both. What the heck is it? Well, Keeps offers a simple, affordable, and stress-free way to keep your hair via convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't even have to leave your home. There's 24-7 care and support. They've got a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to support you in making your hair goals a reality. And it's pretty low cost. Treatments start at just $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions of the two FDA-approved medications to prevent hair loss. They've got everything your hair needs, delivered straight to your door with discreet packaging and proven results. And remember, prevention is key. Treatments could take four to six months to see results, so act fast. That's why I'm taking Keeps every day to make sure my beautiful hair goes nowhere. When it comes to hair, you want to save more and spend less. So if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash supermega to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's keeps.com slash supermega to get your first month free. keeps.com slash supermega. Yes! Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd say so. Some some pretty sick and gnarly ad reads were, were just uh, put, at, put in the podcast before I said that. They were, and they sounded great, man. Uh, and I would buy all of those products to support the podcast. Whatever they are. They're great. They're great, great, great uh, ad reads. And uh, I also just realized I'm a dumbass, dude. What? I have a pimple patch on my face I'm going to take off before starting the podcast. Can we, re- can we restart? The whole podcast? Yes. Look. Has it been there the whole podcast? Yes, it's been right here the whole time. I'm taking it off right now. <sighs> oh, ow. Jesus. Well, are we going to restart or not? No, Matt, I thought you just knew and you were just wearing it. I thought you were like fully just confident and like people wear pimple patches a lot of the time. <sighs> yeah, not me, Ryan. I don't get acne. You I'm know so, that. I'm sorry. I'm. Next time I'll notice. I'll make sure to do a pimple patch check. Pimple patch check. All See, right. it's even fun. Yeah, okay, yeah. You know? Make a little fun thing out of it. Exactly. But uh, what's what's new with you besides uh, tomorrow back update uh, for Ryan McGee? Yep, I the back t- saga. Tomorrow I go to a surgical center and I get an epidural shot in the lower lumbar region of my spine. That's filled with steroids that'll hopefully uh, reduce inflammation. Um, I've heard people say that these epidural shots for like the back. Don't help them. Sometimes it's like, oh, it's a life changer. Uh, I was told today by my physical therapist that you might not even feel the positive effects until the second shot because it's a series of two to three shots oh. you get. Well, um, over like a like you'll get the second one in one month or so. I think they're separated like by a month or two or something like that. Well, I mean, the good news is uh, it's what they give to women giving childbirth. So and that's pa- that's pretty painful. Yeah, my mom refused it. When giving birth to me. She thought it was a beautiful, yeah, the she's pain like, she's was like, a beautiful thing. She's like, I don't want to be doped up during this. I want to, like, experience the the beauty of it. And I'm like, okay, well, suit yourself. I, I hate to do this to you, buddy. I hate to leave you high and dry. Well, you don't want to leave yourself high and dry because you don't have any water. That's what it is, right? Do you need more water, too? No, I, I just refilled my water during the break. Because I'm responsible. Look. Can I go? Yeah, okay, go, 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 go get your water. Do you have a topic to... I can give you a topic, or if you have topic, give me give me a topic to discuss while you're gone. Um, let's go, with... Brandon. I was okay. Let's uh, talk about that meme. Let's go, Brandon. Oh yeah, that 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 new hype meme that's just been uh, released. President Joseph Brandon. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So. Oh, actually, if you were to go on a date with. Joseph Biden, and it has to be like a long, like planned thing. What would it be? And you have to explain why. Okay. Okay. Well, if I had to take President Joseph Reginald Biden the third on a date, um, I think what I would do is, I, I, you know, one 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 tactic people use on dates is they go to theme parks or horror movies. And why do they do that? Well. 
this is a little bit of psychology for you. When when someone is scared or they feel that rush, um, they 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 feel more attached to you. So uh, you can emotionally manipulate someone on a date by taking them on a roller coaster, and then they'll they'll confuse those feelings for for true love. So I'd probably take Joe on a Six Flags. I don't know if he'd be allowed to ride the roller coasters. He might be over the age limit. Um, he might have like a heart attack. I could see him having a heart attack on one of those roller coasters. Uh, but then afterwards, Six Flags is great too because then we could get ice cream and Ooh, he loves ice cream. Yeah, talking about, uh, you know. So, what is, so how did it start? Well, I was talking also about how, you know, when on a date, if you go to like a horror movie or a roller coaster, people uh, get, become more attached because their brains can confuse the, that rush yes. with, with love. So I thought that taking him to Six Flags would be great, but then I also realized, well, maybe that wouldn't be great because he's like Heart in his rate. 80s. Yeah, and you know, Six Flags does actually have one roller coaster that's too intense. Yeah. The X whatever, I forgot what's called. I haven't been to Six Flags in over a decade, I would imagine. Oh, dude, we got to go to Magic Mountain. It's amazing. As soon as I'm able. I'm willing. Once you're able body. Able. Okay. Well, once you're able, we got to go. But I would take Joe there. Maybe we'd stick to the easy like Is that the, where you would start the date? Oh, well, I don't want to take him out for food before we go to an amusement park. You're right. But you're you know, right. you know how much Joe Biden loves ice cream? Yes. There's ice cream at Six Flags. Get him some ice cream. He's a As happy you're camper walking, there. No, it's even Okay, think about this. You you take him, have a fun day at the park, you know, but you're drinking water throughout the day. And then you get ice cream after the last ride. So the walk back to the parking lot, he's distracted eating his ice cream. So he's not thinking about how long of a walk it is to the car. Oh, yeah. It's optimized. Yeah. It's like an optimal date. And then, you know, maybe. Oh, get, get him a waffle cone, too, because he'll spend so much uh, time just, like, gnawing at that. He will gnaw at that thing. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully he doesn't drop his ice cream like last time. Got to walk all the way back, and he cried. Yeah. But, you know, afterwards... You know, Magic Mountain's pretty far up north. It's in what, Valencia, I think. I love that shirt that you're wearing. It's a really oh, good thank shirt. you. I got this at a thrift shop, uh, not too long ago. I feel like I've 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 said that before about this shirt. <laughs> yeah, I, it's what, what's it say? Uh, Champion, Champion Snoo Snoo Squad. Squad, and it's like some 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 bears snoozing. Just a Bear family from Turtle Bay. I don't even know where that is. Sorry to interrupt you. I just had no. It's I, totally I was fine. Just like I really like that shirt. Thank you, man. You, you can probably see it in my eyes. I was like looking at your shirt, and I was I probably had I a like wipe something on my shirt. Uh, I've some stains on it because it's an old used shirt, but you know, can't fall to brother. But basically, afterwards, I don't want the date to be over just then. I would probably take him out to dinner, but something light because we were on roller coasters all day. Yeah. So. Maybe I'd take him not out to, Olive like, Garden. no, not Olive Garden. That's too heavy. That's the last thing you want after riding some roller coasters. But also, you could work out, work up a pretty hefty appetite, appetite walking around Six Flags. Take him to get, like, a Chick-fil-A Cool Wrap with some avocado lime uh, dressing. Oh, that is pretty good. You know, also, I'm sure Joe Biden loves Chick-fil-A. Oh, 100%. percent got to love it, you know? Um, maybe get him a little sweet tea. Not too much, though. I don't want to have too much sugar after, like, 8 p.m. Yeah. Plus, you're talking about you did go to the amusement park, as you've been saying, so you don't want to add to it, because he's still going to be feeling that adrenaline from the amusement park. He's going to be feeling that for probably the weekend. And I'm, I'm assuming this starts on a Friday, or this date's on a Friday, or maybe Saturday. It's a Saturday. Okay, so we still have Sunday to recuperate for Monday. And also, uh, the president is a Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, right? Yes. Okay. So he's off on the weekends, and he doesn't <laughs> have to worry about his duties, but uh, I'm pretty sure he probably would be pumped up on, on Adderall before he even meets me at the... You know, amusement yeah. park. Uh, so I, I am a little concerned about his heart rate, but then I'd, yeah, take him to Chick fil A. And then afterwards, I don't know. Uh, oh, Joe, do you want to come back to my place for a bit? Maybe put on a record? Uh, what if you were invited to the White House? I uh, hope we go back to my place. <laughs> Joe, get on his <laughs> jet, go to the fucking White House. My wife's on a business trip. End up sitting in the, like, sitting on the edge of the bed kind of awkwardly, like the same bed that Abraham Lincoln slept in. I'm just like, <laughs> you like old fashions? Makes me like a fucking drink. Yeah, sure, Abe Joe. Lincoln, man, what a guy! You know, yeah. he was a guy, all right. He single handedly freed the slaves. He did. I learned that. The Declaration of Independence in high school. Yeah. Also, he uh, was a vampire slayer. <laughs> I watched most of that I movie saw, recently. I saw that movie in fucking theaters. Of course you saw it in theaters, dude. 
I was it with my dad. Was it were you by yourself? No, I was with a group. Okay, well, I I watched like a little more than half of it recently, <laughs> and I, it, it was better than I anticipated. The budget I wanted is it high. to be even more wacky. The like, budget. I think, is I think high. the camp should have been way more. Dude, I just, the part, I was like, this is fucking ridiculous, is when, it's like near the beginning when he's chasing the vampire, and they're like, there's like a stampede of horses, and they're running across the horses, oh, like, yeah. you know? Like, it, it gets goofy, but like, I kind of wanted it to be just, the visuals are good. More bat shit. Yeah. Crazy. Hey, mm -hmm. bat. Exactly. Nice! The visuals were pretty, like, you know what I did see with my dad? What'd you see with your dad? I think Vampires was... suck? <laughs> no. Uh oh I saw, I think it was called, like, Dracula, like, Legends Untold or some bullshit like that. It was like this Dracula movie where they tried to make him a badass. I think they were kind of trying, you know, do you remember when Universal Studios, I think it was Universal, was trying to take their monster properties and kind of create their own Marvel-esque universe around them? Yeah. That's why Tom Cruise redid The Mummy. Yeah. And it was going to be a part of this thing. Apparently, there's a scene with Russell Crowe at the end where he's Dr. Jekyll. And Mr. Mr. Hyde. It's the same person, right? Yeah. He's just like split personality. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I kind of want to see like just, this is going to be stupid. I know every- Why Russell Crowe? I have nothing I against know. him. Just I, I, I think because he's because he's good when he's angry. Because in the he's in the trailer for the new Thor movie that's coming out in like. Two Does Russell Crowe play Wolverine? No, that would be Hugh Jackman. Okay, more like huge ass, man. <laughs> you make that joke every. time. Do I really make that every time? <laughs> yeah. So sorry, I'm a more simple minded like huge man. Ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know I've made that joke before. So really, yeah, <laughs> you've done it several times. Well, I'm a simple minded. I love man. it though. I love but it. But that just shows like how the neural pathways in my brain work. I hear that, and it immediately fires the same neurons each time. Like, huge ass, man. Not only do you man. think of it, but, like, you, you, like, say it, and you're, oh, you're, like, more like, huge ass, man. And then after this, those paths won't be traveled again until I hear it again, and then I, they haven't been traveled, so I'll forget about it. And I'm like, guys, I already said that joke? Yeah, I love it, though. Thank you. It's a good joke. Thank you. I always think you do it, like, intentionally. No, like, no, I actually times. didn't know that I've even done that once. <laughs> really, <Yeah>, dude? <laughs> that actually, I thought was like the first time I've done that joke. No, like even like if we're not even in content, like if we're talking, like if I brought up Logan, like Wolverine, I'm like, yeah, you know, remember the Hugh Jackman, more like huge ass man. Well, he, it's his fault for having that name, dude. <laughs> it's a stupid, fucked up Australian name. Yeah, man, fucking ridiculous. But I, I do hope that they, uh, they turn. Tom Cruise's mummy and well, I think it's been canceled because all those movies did so bad. No, <laughs> yeah, Tom Cruise uh, is it, but there's a new Mission Impossible that he's making. I think, bro, Tucker has gone to see Top Gun Maverick by himself in theaters twice, <laughs> which I haven't even seen it once. Yeah. I still haven't seen the original Top Gun. He said it's really good. He's like, so. He was trying to get people to go with him like weeks before because I think he's wanted to see this movie and he found this promotion where it was like. If you go uh, to, like, Top Gun Maverick and show your ticket, like, you can get, like, free appetizers at Applebee's or something. Oh, shit. And half off apps? After yeah, midnight? yeah. So he wanted he wanted us to do that with him. And I was like, oh, I'm good, man. And I couldn't go out still. Yeah. So basically, uh, he did that. So he, he, he was making plans to see this movie. Then he saw it again by himself. And uh, he really liked it. He said the cinematography, like, with the Jets is really cool. I believe it. I'm sure it is. I'm, I'm sure it actually looks pretty good. Because they actually go up and film those scenes in the jets. So apparently he said the last scene, Tom Cruise is actually flying his own private jet. Really? Yeah. You know, just... Mm. I really for him. I want to get into Microsoft Flight Simulator really bad. I've been watching a bunch of how-to videos. I tried to download it on my computer at one point, but it couldn't handle it. Even though I have a pretty beefed up computer, yeah. maybe I needed to change some fucking settings, but it was Give the render distance on maximum. And maybe the launch of it was very sloppy. I, d I really didn't f like stay around too long to find out. It was like choppy. I'm like, this is taking so much space off of my hard drive. If it's not working, I want to get like I'm the good. sticks and stuff. Because like, you know, with my keyboard and everything, it's like, okay, I'm taking off. But if I have like the, like the, the yoke and everything. You got to try to like, land in the Hudson. Oh, I will. Well, what I actually thought about been doing. been done before. It has been done. Tom Hanks did it. And zero, I, zero lives lost. That is very impressive. Yeah. That Tom Hanks pulled that one off. But I, I would like to uh, get really good. I wanted to seek really get really good at Flight Simulator because, like, you're actually learning how to fly and a plane. And we play it on the channel. And, then be, and you'd be like, okay, 
do you know how to play it? I'm like, no, I'll figure it out. And then just be like, I've been watching tutorials on how to do it. When are like later in life, like in your when you're in your 30s, are you just gonna kind of get into like potentially maybe this is more of a 40s thing for you? You're actually gonna give your like try to get yourself a pilot's license, not to that sounds like a midlife crisis, not to get not to actually own a plane, but just to be like, yeah, I got my pilot's license. I think knowing how to fly would be cool. Don't you need to get it renewed like every like some uh, do, how often do you need to get a pilot's on like a license? driver's license where you can be 95 years old and controlling six tons of steel and explosive fuel going 80 miles per hour? Uh, no, but I watched I watched a a bunch of how to videos on flight simulator and how to take off and land, and I I think that I I think I might have it down. I just haven't tried it yet. Get, listen to this, Matthew. I'm about to get a load of it. Every two years, you will need to complete a biannual flight review. So, I mean, I've, like, someone has to watch me fly? With an authorized instructor, yeah. You will also need to renew your medical every two to five years, depending on class and age. So, so they, they look after planes pretty well. Why not cars? Or, well, I don't want to say it. Don't say it, what? Trains? I don't want to get, <laughs> I don't want to get political. Automobiles? You're about to you're about to get political. Yeah, I was about to say something that would probably upset people. Oh yeah, heroin. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, they don't check your heroin license. You get it once, and then oh, good for the rest of your life. Fucking ridiculous, man. The way they just let us. Oh, just go get my medical heroin license. <laughs> when I got mine, it, I barely had to do any kind of background check. Well, I told I told the doctor, like, I, I have anxiety and it just put back pain on my like little medical card that i get for it yeah well i mean it's probably easier to sell heroin for back pain than anxiety because everyone's got anxiety nowadays yeah but not everyone has heroin no well that's why i love california now that they've uh medically introduced heroin onto the marketplace that's just like it's truly obama's america in california I don't know, and a lot of people will get mad about that and go, oh, okay, uh, well, I'm going to move to Nashville. Yeah, do they have heroin in Nashville? They don't have heroin in the South. They don't have many drugs in the South. No. They have, like, I don't know. K2? Spice? Sparkling water. Yeah. Fucking spice, dude. At the gas station. Spice. Yeah, K2. Do you uh, you remember that stuff? Are you a spice runner? I'm a spice head. Hey, in Star Wars, spice is a big drug. Oh, is spice a drug in Star Wars? You're a spice runner. I think it's a drug. It sounds like it. Uh, do you remember? I'm hooked on spice. Remember that trend, though? That it sounds like space in an Australian accent. Spice. Oh, spice. yes, it does. Spice. I'm going to spice. What about a... Uh, but do you remember that in South Carolina? Like, there was that big, like, panic with K2. Do you remember K2? It was mm. synthetic marijuana that they would sell at smoke shops. I remember I didn't really learn about that until like after I moved out here and all of a sudden people from South Carolina were talking about they weren't talking about K2 they were talking about there's this other um there's this other thing that they're smoking Oh it's Delta not 8? Weed. Yeah, Delta Well, 8. Delta 8's really popular now and Delta 8 is almost pre- it's pretty much just weed, but K2 is like a fully synthetic marijuana that people would smoke and like go crazy and like jump out of like a third floor window. Sounds like bath salts. Yeah, no, it would make people go absolutely batshit insane. Like it, it's not like weed at all. Zombies. I watched a video of a dude do, doing salvia and he just like gets up and just jumps out of his second story window. I still have some. Do you still have the salvia I bought you? Oh yeah. I bought Ryan salvia for his birthday once. I'm saving it for a special occasion. Yeah. Well, I, I was at a smoke shop in Hollywood and I was getting you your, uh, your a, a, a bong or something. And I was like, salvia is legal? He's like, yeah, it's great, man. I was like, it's great. I was man. like, let me get some. But I've I've just heard with salvia, you have to like inhale and hold it, and it's painful. And that's the fun. I'll smoke salvia with you once if you're down. Yeah, special occasion. Maybe uh for my birthday next year. It seems like uh, it it seems like it just sends you through hell for ten minutes. Like, remember when Miley Cyrus smoked salvia? <laughs> Do you remember that? That was like the big like that was like the big beginning thing of her fall off. Miley Cyrus did a lot of fucking shit. Yeah, but that video came out for smoking salvia, and I was like, <gasps> "That's how I found out what salvia was." Through Super- Miley Cyrus. Yeah, that video where she's smoking it. Megheads who love salvia, remember that one. Is it epic? You guys like it? No, Do salvia you- actually scares the shit out of me. 
Is I forget Miley Cyrus? Are they back on like they're like that was a phase of mine? I'm actually or are they still like I don't Yo, know what up, homie? I don't know. I've seen lots of pictures of Miley Cyrus pissing. Yes. Uh, how many dudes just stopped the podcast and went to go look that Wait, up? Wait, what? Yeah. Let, let Let's see. I'll I'll go to Miley Cyrus's Instagram account. <laughs> just right, right there, front and center. Oh man, yeah, Miley Cyrus is a. Uh, Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, they both had those phases. Justin Bieber seems like he's he's mellowed now, you know? Like, he's not, he's like, oh, I was a little bit of a bad boy. I guess growing up rich and famous will do that to you. She, uh, seems like Miley Cyrus. Like crazy Miley Cyrus or like chill Miley Cyrus? Sitting in bed with some tea. Yeah, looks a little more chill, a little more reserved. And, uh, here, let's... A nice little cowboy hat. She looks, yeah, she looks a lot more reserved. Oh. The... <laughs> just judging women on the podcast. Just going <laughs> yeah, through their Instagram. I just held up a picture. By the side, just giving like a scowl look to Matt. That was a good reaction. That got me to, that got me to gut bust. <laughs> Dude, did you just bust on the podcast? <laughs> my, I got Ryan to bust. <laughs> my God, you're busted, buddy. Hey, buddy. Well, that means that we're done with this episode because you busted. So okay. that's all the time we got. Once, once, uh, once, once Ryan busts, that's how we know it's done. Thanks for joining us on Thanks this. Thanks for episode. joining us. You can go uh, get this ad free on our Patreon if you want, plus a bunch of bonus shit. Yeah. Uh, which uh, we need the Q and A. Fuck. Okay. Uh, yeah, guys. But lots of fun stuff on the way. Um. Uh. Episode. Man, it's always a slam dunk when I see Ryan and Matt. Love you guys.